So a few days ago, Blizzard ported Overwatch 2 over to Steam, which has created some mixed opinions among both Steam users and Overwatch players, but currently the game has a very very poor rating. Now, this isn't the kind of topic I would normally make a video about since this is not a gaming channel, and if you came to this video for an opinion on the game, well this video is not for you. So why am I making a video about this? Well earlier this year I was playing Overwatch quite a bit with a few friends, and I have to admit that despite being a Linux user, I've never actually played the game on Linux, only in a Windows VM. While I knew people had gotten Overwatch to run on Linux through Lutris, I just assumed it would be a very tedious process, and it doesn't help that my internet is quite slow, so I didn't want to spend a long time downloading it if I couldn't get it to work, I just wanted to play. Now even though I don't play Overwatch anymore, I was kind of curious if the game coming to Steam would make it easier to run on Linux. After all, a lot of non-native Steam games run just as well as they do on Windows thanks to Valve Proton, and with the hype of the Steam Deck, I imagine most game developers will either port their game to Linux, or at least make sure the Windows version can run through Proton. And to my surprise the game does actually work without having to faff around, and I assume it works because it doesn't have an anti-cheat and the Steam version doesn't require Battle.net. Now I was running the game on Arch Linux and so you might get a different result if you're using Ubuntu, Fedora, Void or some other distro. But in any case, if you're interested in using Linux and you play Overwatch then you're in luck. That said, even though you don't need Battle.net to play Overwatch through Steam, you do need a Battle.net account to actually play the game and I think you need to link your Steam account with your Battle.net account even if you're playing on Windows since my friends have Overwatch in their Steam library but they haven't actually played the game on Steam. In any case, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.